Hey guys, welcome back. This is Car Number Five, and today is going to be the fourth video of our pitching tutorial series. Uh, and we're going to be talking about pure analog pitching. This is definitely my recommendation and my favorite. I started using analog pitching two years ago, and I haven't went back. Uh, to me, it just gives you the most most accuracy and most control of your pitches, and I believe it is. A little bit easier to use than meter this year. I thought last year, you know, it was pretty close. You know, about 50-50. I still favored analog a little bit more. But I'm going to talk about pure analog pitching a little bit, introduce you to it and how it works. All right. So your analog interface, you basically aim your pitch, and then to start your pitch, you use the right stick to move it down, and then when you get to that yellow line, you push up and to your attended target. So my target out here was out into the left you see up top there on the interface. So you have to move your analog up and over to the left to hit that spot. Now you really have to get a feel for it and every pitcher is different. Every pitcher has a different wind up. Some pitchers that yellow bar will be even up higher like Kershaw. They have a uh, quicker delivery to the plate. And some pitchers are slower so and you really have to get a feel for it and also your attributes affect how easy it is to control your pitches and where you want them to go. So, that being said, yeah, that's analog pitching. That's how it works. Now let's talk about why I think analog pitching is easier to use, especially this year. All right, so say I pitch low and away here. Say I try to pitch way out here, okay? I got pretty close there, but you see I wasn't perfect. Now with meter pitching, you get punished more if you're not perfect. However, look at that feedback at the bottom left hand corner. I st the pitch still went where I wanted or where I shouldn't say I wanted to go, but where I put it basically. So I wanted it to go out here a little bit more, but it ended up going right here. But I mean that's where I put the ball though. I mean that's where I'm trying to see how to word this, but that's where my um input dictated where the ball would go okay so what does that mean basically it means you're not punished as much and it's more accurate so say you try to keep the ball down um, as long as you don't release it too late or too early you'll be fine you can keep the ball down so what what do I mean by that you know releasing it too late or too early if you release it too early the pitch will go higher if you release it late it will go lower it just works I mean it works pretty similar to meter however um, you also have complete control of the horizontal access as well as the vertical. I mean, you have complete control with analog, and it's it's really you just have to get a feel for it. So let me tell you what I'm talking about. Again, say I try to pitch way out here, but I don't hit it perfect. Actually, I did hit it perfect, and it went right where I wanted it to go. Let's show you again. Okay, you see how even though I missed my target, I was off a little bit. I didn't get my right thumb all the way up into the right okay I didn't get it all the way up into the right I, I slightly missed I was about right here and that's where it went that's what I'm saying um, the pitch goes where you put it I don't know how else to word it so you can be a lot more consistent with analog uh, perfect pitches will go where they're intended um, that being said it still depends I shouldn't say depends but it's still affected by attributes somebody with uh, good control like Juan Marichal and good walks per nine you're still gonna be more consistent if you're pitching to somebody like Nolan Ryan yeah you might aim down here and you might be off a little bit the pitch might go more over here or something um, it's not it's just not as drastic difference as the punishments with meter it's just more consistent so I guess the main question you guys are probably all trying to ask or that I'm trying to answer is uh, how is pure analog affected by the new precision gameplay input um, I would say I would say minimal I wouldn't say it's affected as much as what meter is I think pure analog it I don't know it almost feels easier than last year um, it feels like you're just not as punished as much and I think I've said that but that's what I'm just gonna stick to that it feels like you're just not punished as much and if you hit your spot it goes right there uh, analog pitching is definitely the most accurate and most consistent way of pitching um, so yeah, I don't think I have anything else to add to this. If you guys have any more questions on how pure analog works, um, you can let me know. Um, one thing I forgot to bring up with meter 
is that you can hold L1 to slice up, and it, it affects the meter a lot. Like, it makes it where you have to go a lot quicker, and it is very, very accurate, or very, very inaccurate. It is the most difficult to slide step with pitching meter, and I think that's another advantage that uh, interfaces like uh, Classic, Pulse, and Analog have. It's a lot easier to use a slide step and execute the interface. I'll show you. Also, something else that can be useful for analog pitching, and that is going up against people that bunt. If you think somebody is bunting but you don't want to do a pitch out, what you can do is, you know, try to pitch wherever you were trying to pitch at. <sighs> but you can change your mind at the last second. You know, say I'm trying to pitch, you know, up and away. What I can do is, oh, I see him bunt. I see him showing bunt at the last second. What you can do is you can release it earlier and it'll go way high. Okay, that's what I mean by analog. Like, you can see things at the last second. You might see a squeeze at the last second. These are things you you can do with other ones but it's a lot lot more difficult and something like meter if you try to be really wild with it, it's gonna go really wild you don't know where it's gonna go with analog you have complete control all the way up until the pitch is released pitch is released so anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, it's going to conclude the pitching series um, I plan to add tips here and there there's only so much tips I believe I can give with pitching but I'll try to add more if you guys have any suggestions let me know uh, this is card number five Signing out. Peace.